or drink. He's sick of doing it with just champagne. Yeah, I know. Get, he sort of gets mm. over it, so he just <laughs> has to well turn it into a, a new item. Mm. Thank you very much. Hard life. Good on it? you, JT. Mm. No, no, get right into it. Don't, uh, don't let don't, us interrupt. Don't make us. Don't, don't let us ruin your eating. Go on, you mm. cannibal. Look right. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Well, on the eve of the Queensland border reopening to the rest of Australia, the state is preparing for an influx of visitors. But online polls show that people are still reluctant to commit to the Sunshine State after such a prolonged closure. Travel writer and editor James Wilkinson knows a thing or two about planning and booking holidays. In fact, he's joining us live now from Castaway Island in Fiji. Uh, how's the trip going? Have you found it significantly different, I guess, to, to pre-pandemic? Yeah, good to see you guys. Uh, no, it feels really normal. It, it, it's back in uh, amazing Fiji where, you know, the hospitality, as we know, is so amazing. Um, I think they've all stepped it up a bit, though. Uh, the experiences in the two places I've been to at Outrig and here at Castaway is uh, the service has been excellent and the food's actually been even better. Um, I think they've actually stepped it up a notch. Uh, and the ease of travel is so easy now, you know. I mean, even just getting a test before departure and they do a test after day three, a rapid test. So it's really easy. And uh, we're seeing a lot of Aussies coming here. It's uh, certainly top of the list as far as Aussies are concerned like going forward. green screen, Mon. Is he really is, there? Are you really there? <laughs> we're not convinced yeah. you're really there. We need evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got my uh, I've got my glass of water here. I don't have a uh, a lamb chop to cheers oh my to gosh, JT. It looks but, just um, so perfect, James. Just extraordinary. I know. Okay, so we'll I come told back the wind to... to stop today for yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> Were you nervous at all? No, I, look, I went to the US a couple of weeks ago to New York and Los Angeles. I'd kind of gone through the whole testing system of the airports. I think it's sort of. You know, you go and get a test and then it's like, well, we've got to wait for the result. I think after you get that result, you seem to be a lot more relaxed. I think it's just a different experience, right? There's things at Sydney Airport just aren't open. There's shops that just aren't open. And so it feels a bit strange on that aspect. But when, you, when we got to Fiji, it was just literally like you'd walked in here two years ago. It was just really nice and welcoming. And, and uh, look, everything's really quiet at the moment. It's like a calm before a storm. They're expecting this massive uptick next Friday as school holidays kicks off. In fact, a lot of hotels are pretty much booked up, uh, as, as is Queensland, until like the end of January at this point. So it, it is really sort of relaxing at the moment, but it's going to get busy here soon and feel right back to normal. Such, uh, such great news for the tourism operators. That's what everyone has been hoping, isn't yeah. it, that you could just pick up uh, where, where you left off. Um, what, do you, what do you think about, because domestic travel is proving difficult enough, what, what are your recommendations for someone who might want to head to Queensland for that long-awaited trip as opposed to, to overseas as you have? Uh, look, Queensland's got so much to offer. Opened or and are opening. I mean, the Star on the Gold Coast is opening up a new hotel, the Dorset, in two weeks' time. Cairns has had brand new hotels opening. And all over the Whit Sundays as well, we've seen upgrades at, at, into Conhayman Island, which is one resort of the year in Australia last week. We've seen Hamilton Island do that as well. So a lot of the product up and down the coast in Queensland, fantastic. So the big tricky thing, though, is going to be getting a hotel because during the school holidays, mm. we know that a lot of the hotels are full. We know that uh, I got some stats off Webjet for you guys this week and it, and it, it told us that uh, bookings in week on week this week versus last week, uh, Gold Coast is about up ahead 110% wow. and Sunshine Coast is up 130%. So, and that's wow. for bookings in December. So I think it's going to really start picking up. But we saw this last Christmas too. If you hadn't booked a holiday in Queensland around Christmas, you're in a bit of trouble. And it's the drive markets, don't forget. So Sunshine Coast has been uh, off the charts, really busy with people from Brisbane and, and around the area. So a lot of those hotels have done really well. The Gold Coast is, uh, has had a bit of a drop off, but I think Gold Coast and Sunshine are going to be huge. I think, I think a lot of the great opportunities for a holiday are going to be up in Cairns, around Palm Cove, Port Douglas, and that kind of area, because traditionally that is an international destination. Yeah. It's not a big domestic destination. So I think we will see those areas sort of pick up pretty fast. Also, Brisbane's had some great new hotels open as well. So mm. if you want a bit of an urban escape, what about Brisbane? Then go and go and have fun at the gallery. There's some amazing restaurants on the river on yeah. South Bank that are, that are there. So I think Queensland's got a lot to offer. It's, uh, it's Although you look at sort of internationally, I mean, Fiji's not much more of a flight. Uh, Fiji Airways have got some crazy specials in the market at the moment. So if you want a bit more flavour, it's a, an extra hour and a half away. I mean, Fiji's got that as well. So you've got the Australian tropical experience and then the South Pacific tropical oh, experience. So you certainly really got some go options, wrong. don't yeah. you? Yeah, uh, well, you it's do. kind of you to have interrupted uh, your holiday for us and put down the <laughs> pina colada. Uh, we'll let you get back to it and enjoy it, James. Thank you. Awesome.